everybody, it's Matt with Stokes Music Studios here in Greer, and I was just thinking, Christmas time is upon us, it's time to learn a Christmas song, so today I'm going to teach you Silent Night. This arrangement of Silent Night was sent to me by my friend Jonathan Adams years ago, and it's helped so many of my students in the past years, thanks to all my students that have worked so hard on it, and if you haven't begun Silent Night yet, I'm going to teach it to you now. So here we go. The first four measures of this arrangement of Silent Night, you're going to put your third finger here on the third fret G. This is the third fret of the big string and use your little finger, your pinky here on the third fret of the second string. Now you could use different fingers, but I really recommend that you use these fingers. It's going to be real important that you learn to count this it's in three, four times. So you want to count one and two see those first four measures might come pretty easily for you if you just practice along with this video and then there's a transition to this next chord this chord is D and the fingers that we're going to use are we're going to use our first finger here on the fifth fret of the E string we use our third and fourth fingers here now later on in the song we'll do a different fingering for this D but for now it's finger one finger three and finger four these are on fret number seven strings two and three all right, and then the, the strings that I'm going to pick, my thumb on the right hand is going to take care of this bass note, this D, and uh, my index and middle and ring finger will take care of the rest of these. So it's not too hard to pick that measure five. One and two and three and, but what you may have to practice is the actual transition, getting from G to this D. So if that's not if that's not really smooth for you going from this G shape to this D shape, then you can just spend some time going back and forth. We've got to make this effortless so that we don't have to think about it anymore. Okay, so you can work on that song at home. And with this video, just going back and forth. A good way to do it is to put some time into it. So maybe you will try counting one, two, three, one, two, three. effortless and then you'll be able to pick through that one and two and three and one and two and three and then moving on to measure six we do a normal D shape so I hope you know a D shape but you put your first finger here on the second fret of the third string second finger goes here on the second fret same fret on the first string and your third finger goes right here on this D note third fret of the second string. You're going to pick it like this. One and two and three and. One and two and three and. So again, once you get your hand in place and you practice this picking motion, it's not that difficult to play. It's the transition. And going from this D to this voicing of D. If that's not smooth for you, then you want to work on that until it becomes really like breathing in and breathing out. Then you can shift your attention to the actual picking of it. Then we go back to a really common G shape, but this time we're going to use our fourth and our third fingers here on the third fret of strings one and two. Our second finger goes here on this G and we're gonna play measure seven like this. measure seven headed into measure eight you don't have to remove your fourth finger but we won't be playing that string anymore we're not going to play the first string we play measure seven like this one and two and three and one and two and three i'll do it several times for you one and two
next you're going to go to a C shape, but we really don't need the whole thing. So if you if you think of C like this, that's fine. If you think of C like this, that's fine. Okay, so however you want to play your C chord, but we need this C note and some open strings. I'll play it a few times for you. Count it. One and two. finger here on this third fret of the first string that's a G note one and two and three and pick up this second fret of the first string with our first finger here in measure ten one and two and three and one and two and three and one Measure 11, we're back to the shape that we started with. We got our third finger here on G and our pinky here on the third fret of the second string. This is a D note. One and two and three. 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 Measure 12, we just remove our little finger. One and two and three and one and two and three and so you may remember this is one we've already done. Then this is also a repeat, measure thirteen, we've already played this. One and two and three and one and two and three and now, earlier we did that with these fingers, so you could you could switch if you prefer. Either way, that, that little passage, measure thirteen and fourteen, can be played like this or like this, either way. One and two and three and. 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 Measure 15, we put our third finger back on G and our pinky on D again. One and two and three and. Measure 16 is a repeat. We've done it before. One and two and three and one. You should be getting pretty good at this one by now. Congratulations to all of you who are starting on this for the first time, or maybe some of you learning a new arrangement. This time, we're gonna use fingers two and three here on the seventh fret of strings two and three. Last time we used this fingering, this time we'll use this fingering, and as we get into the next measure, you'll see why. One and two and three. One and two and three. One and two and three. Make sure you count it. One and two and three. That's a quarter note right at the end of this measure. One and two and three. Heading into measure 18, we're gonna drop our little finger here in. We hold this shape, drop our little finger here in on the eighth fret, the first string. One and two and three and. I'll do that measure a few times and count it. Count it with me as you play along. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and. Measure 19. Team, we're back to this familiar shape. One and two and three and one and two and two and one and two and three and. Measure 20. We're going to put our first finger here on seven and our second finger here on eight. We're going to play three strings. So if you'd like to strum that, you could, or you could pick them either way, however you prefer to do that. There's a fermata symbol right there. And that means that we're going to hold these dotted half notes for as long as you prefer. So if you're feeling in a, 
rather Christmassy mood and you'd like to hold that for a little longer than normal, it's completely up to you. For measure 21, we're back to this familiar G shape. One and two and three and one and two and three and, and you just remove your, your fingers here on the last part of that measure. You just remove these fingers on the last part of that measure. Let's count it together. One and two and three and partial D shape right here and if you'd like to use these fingers that, that would be a really good idea for to use your second finger here on A and the third finger here on D we go for this is measure 22 one two and three one two and Let your first finger take care of the C note here on the first fret. One, two, and three. I'll do that a few times and count it. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Make sure you learn to count each measure of this song and make sure that you can play them with ease before you move on. Then just start combining these measures and you'll have this song down before Christmas. measure 23 you're going to use this G shape and we'll also be putting our second finger here on the uh, D string on the second fret in just a moment after we play it open so you're going to play G and then you play open D and then you can play this second fret this is an E note you could even you could even do a little hammer on right there if you wanted to and then an open G open B this G note. One and two and three and. 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 and for our final measure 24, we're just going to play a G chord. Four strings. If you wanted to play a different G chord, if you wanted to play a full G like this, you could. But what's what we see written is G, B, B, and G. Dotted half notes, get three beats, that fills up the whole measure. So the final measure is just one, 